Hello guys, welcome back to another video. It's been a while since you've seen this angle from me, uh, but I thought since one, I found a tripod in my parents' apartment, and two, the new Procreate came out, I thought, why don't we just go through all the new update updated stuff together because I don't actually know everything they added. I've, I've, I've watched a few videos, I've gotten sort of an overview of what they have added, but I am curious to see if there's anything that I can find that is like hidden. And I thought, why don't we just go through that together? Wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> if you don't already know, I actually use Procreate professionally for everything at the moment since I'm traveling. I only work on my iPad. It's an iPad 2020 version, 12.9 sized. Excuse me if I say anything wrong, uh, but that's what I've been using since May for everything and that's what I'm going to use from now on to forever, I don't know, <laughs> for anything professional. And I absolutely love Procreate and it's, that's the app that I've decided to use because I've become so comfortable with it. And so any update from them is really, really exciting. I've updated it this morning and um, I have been drawing a little bit on it, but that was just because I had to work a little bit. But I haven't actually gone through and explored it very much. Um, but I know that there's there's quite a few very interesting things in here um, and I guess this is kind of like a review <laughs> slash well it is explore with me review with me I don't know put me in the background <laughs> as some background noise if you want to listen uh, or I guess follow along and see if you can find some cool things that you like because um, I'm sure there will be things that I don't like but you like or I like but you don't like but We'll, we'll figure it out. So as I said, I've kind of already opened the program because uh, I've been working on this beefy fish boy, which is the creature card <laughs> for my patrons. And uh, well, not creature card, creature postcard. And I've had a lot of fun with it. Uh, but for just drawing, I haven't noticed any difference between the previous version and the new version of Procreate. But I know there's some tools and features we need to explore a little bit. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to look at is the pencil filters that I've added. They've always had adjustments and filters and under this here. But just like in this update, they've added it so that you can add the filters as a pencil. So if I go into, I've, I've copied my canvas on top as a new layer. So this is the whole image just as a new layer. Uh, which is the only thing that I don't like is that I have to merge everything to use used adjustments. Um, but now apparently, let's see if we can make this work. We can do pencils. So if I do like a weird color, yep, I can use my pencil and I can paint that on too. Which is, you know what, it is pretty cool. But I still wish that I can like add it for a specific part of my painting because everything is actually in layers. Okay, this is kind of cool. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. It's pretty cool that I can use my own pen my, my pencil for it. So it doesn't add as a second layer. That this is how in, in Photoshop it'll work as you could add the effect as a layer on top and you can turn the layer off and on to check if you still want the effect. But with photo with, with Procreate you can have to leave it. So I, I love that they've added it as a pencil, but can't they just add it so that we can do like this is, this is not making a new layer. This is just on top of, this is just that layer, the whole thing. I haven't actually tried any of this, these before. These are all new. Ooh. It's probably gonna hurt my camera. You can barely see it. But I'll put in the actual, the screen will grab the screen recording. This is kind of cool. Screen print, so that's the color version and newspaper is like, it's black dotted lines. Cool, very cool. I don't know if I would use this very much. It's not really for what I do, but it is, it is cool. Chromatic. Ooh, okay, that one is cool. Just so like an, a, a little bit of an effect, isn't it? And then they've also added glitch. 
I'm not. I'm sorry. I'm not going in in order of everything. Oh my goodness, what? I guess I'm zoomed in. It's really weird. Why would I use this for? Well, I guess if you were doing some sort of poster effect or something. Yeah, my thing is just like I don't know what if I would ever use this unless I was. I guess it is a finished artwork. It's kind of cool though. <laughs> Kind of crazy. Uh, bloom. This one I am actually kind of interested in. Because I you know. Make all the light parts of your drawing light up. I'm actually going to close that. And then we have sharpen noise, we have before perspective blur, all these we've had before. Graded map is a new one. Uh, and these ones are quite quite fun because if you're painting in black and white and you want to add color, you can add a color gradients, which is really, really useful. So if I do, let's go back. If I take this into black and white and then go into the gradient map, I don't think, I think it'll just stay as it was, but you can... Just like color your art based on the gradient of the values of your art. So these are the things that I know people have been really, really excited about. But I still would like them. Oh, castle, nice. I would still like them to uh, add these things as a layer on top of everything so I don't have to don't have to merge my drawing because what I mean with that is like at the moment if I take that layer away this is all painted on different layers and I don't really want to take that away I want to keep that as much as I can um, at some point they usually do kind of merge everything and then paint on top for most people that use line art we don't really want that we just want to have like some sort of effect on top of everything you just keep it um so that's like the only thing what else is new wait what else is new i think that was it for the adjustments let's let's go back to this one pencil filters that's the one we checked so everything that i just said you can do as a pencil which is like sure cool um i probably will use it what was that one Oh yeah, that was the that one. Grid him up, we checked out. Procreate on your face. Is that a reference thing? I like the reference. That is something I heard of too, because I am using this one for everything that I do. Uh, it's called VizRef, and it's a super cool program for references, and you can move it around and you can do everything that you want to do. Um, and I just, I've been using this for at least two months, three months. But now, apparently, we should be able to have that in here, if I can find it. Oh, reference. Okay, so does that mean I can just... So this is just the whole thing, so if I draw... I think? Wait. Does that mean that that kind of... Oh, that is cool! I've been wondering about that. So this takes my artwork in a separate separate window and whatever I do even if I zoom in here you can see the whole thing this is really good for streams and art in general so you can see the whole drawing while I'm drawing it and not just where I'm zooming in I like that one I like that one a lot uh, image can I import my art that's cool can I import more Oh, you can only import one picture at a time. This is what I was worried about when I saw it, because that, what, the reason I use VizRef is that, is that I can have a lot of pictures at the same time. Um, but I can only have one at a time here. Okay. And then face. <laughs> Hello. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> Hello. This is not very nice. Wait, let me just. Mm-hmm. 
that's definitely <laughs> definitely indeed what I wanted with this artwork I look like a clown it's great so that one's pretty cool I'm probably gonna play around with that on Halloween or something <laughs> bye but I do love the canvas one that's something that I have been wishing for yeah, so cool they've added that wait like, could, I, could I scale it down again did I scale it down before there we go canvas because that means I can stop zooming in and out so much people can stop getting dizzy <laughs> that one's very very cool love that for references I think I would rather use um, this ref just because I can like add so many pictures uh, even though it does cut off half my screen it's just I it's just so helpful to have this here and if I ever want this picture over here I would just go copy and then you can just paste that in here oh oh yeah it paste <laughs> so then just like that but yeah that's pretty cool pretty cool I must be one of the people who's just like not like super enthused about the up updates are cool don't get me wrong I'm sorry if I sound like I'm not excited at all I am I love updates for procreate they are amazing amazing at what they do and I love the program It's my favorite program to draw on with the with the iPad Pro so I don't have anything to say. I just, I love the program. I'm not, the, the updates so far are cool, but I, let's see if there's anything else. Procreate on your face, private layer. That's kind of cool. Uh, I thought this one already, no, I thought this existed, but that was the reference layer, which is different. Um, swatch drop, that's cool. So that's pretty much now. I'll keep this one on. If I want to drop in a color, I apparently can drop in a color from my swatches. Come on. Okay, cool. Not from your history, but definitely from your swatches. Cool. That one's cool. That's just like a new thing that is useful. Text simplified. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This comes with the new updated... Um, iOS 14 so apparently if I want to add text I can now go hello nice to meet yeah <laughs> which is cool so that's a thing now what else this is one of the things that I'm really excited about the color palette. I saw somebody being able to take a picture of something and like create a color palette. I'll most likely just use like photos, but this is something that I use all the time when I do want to pick colors. Um, and that is to, to make palette. Wait, how did I do that? How do you do that? Palettes in here? <gasps> New from photos. Haha, <laughs> see that's really cool. So now it picks out the most prominent colors in that artwork and then you can use those, which I really, really like. That's really cool. I'm probably gonna use that too. Fast away to color. Oh, sorry, I just had to stare at it for a while to figure out what was new. Um, wait, let's see that again. So that's the selection tool. So if I went into selection tool, uh -huh. Uh -huh. you want to select that? I cannot color fill that. Oh, that's cool. That's very cool. Oh, this means that you can select really quickly and just drop the color in. This is really good for comic stuff. Transform, bounding box, and snapping. Uh, that's not what I needed to do, thank you. Is it still selected? No. Oh, 
Oh, okay, yeah, I see. I was, I was wondering what they meant with this, but it just shows the rotation. Which I haven't thought about before. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. Well, I don't see. I don't understand it, but it's cool. <laughs> Custom, okay, so we have blur brushes. That's nice. I need to, to, uh, to play around with that later. Widgets, I already added that to my home screen, which I quite like. Um, quick menu profiles, I don't really use that a lot, but I'm guessing it would be really handy. Because the thing that I actually noticed, and I don't know if I like, <laughs> God, I was... Okay, I'm surprisingly... I'm, su I'm surprised I'm more negative than I thought I would be. So, in... If I'm drawing, and I want to like copy paste this I usually do this right but now this has changed this looks different to what it did before I don't know if I can change that but I know I can leave it up which is kind of cool I guess I'll just have to get used to it I, I was used to the other way of how it worked but now it's like this copy all paste <laughs> cool, cool, cool. But I think that's mostly what's updated. I haven't noticed much more than that. Um, at least what's like something that I would use a lot. I do like the blue though. Can I try the pencil version of it? That's not what I wanted. Well, I guess my brush isn't very good for this. I know it, it, it is really cool. I will. I am not gonna lie. It's pretty cool. The brush thing. I just wish I can add it as a separate layer. But I guess that would be really tricky. Just some sort of stuff needs to be changed to be able to to do that. It might be too hard for the processor or something. Anyway, it's very interesting. So now it's just how am I gonna implement everything that they've added? <laughs> how? How will I start using it? The thing is like with Procreate, I feel like you just start with the basics and you just start there and then if you want to add all the cool things, you can do that later. Um, but it is cool. It is, the things that they've added are cool and I'm sure I'm going to use a lot of the glitch effects and stuff for like final artwork just to make it a little bit interesting. But for now, it doesn't really change anything with my workflow. Maybe with the making of the brushes which is probably something I'm going to play around with. Um, if you are curious, the brushes that I am using and that I've used for this whole piece are my own brushes and you can find them down below or on Gumroad. Um, and I use the charcoal HB for like everything. And um, I'm probably going to try and play around with the new... I'm sure they've updated quite a few things in like settings here, but I need to to play around with that myself <laughs> before I can say anything about it. But as always, I think that if you do have an iPad and you do have an Apple Pencil, you need to use Procreate. But I think most people already do that. Most people already have Procreate. This is not something that I sell or anything. I'm just, this is what I use for everything. And I, I just, it's such an underrated program, especially for professional artists. A lot of people are surprised when they come to my live streams and stuff. And they're like, oh, you use Procreate? And I'm like, yeah, it's a really cool program. It's really good. Why would you not use it? Especially if you're on your iPad, you can't use it on anything else. But like, it's good, you guys. It's really good. It's very, very... I think it's just a... When it comes to learning programs, it's always what you're used to. I think professional artists always come from like... Photoshop, which is so detailed and so complicated with lots of buttons everywhere. So going to like this with like nothing is very scary and probably it, it takes a lot of adjusting. It took me years to kind of fully adjust because I was I was using uh, I was using Photoshop and, and Procreate, which is very simple. I can only use it for like sketching. Um, but over the years, Procreate have added things that I think is probably so much better than Photoshop have ever done, especially, I'll show you one thing. I don't know why I'm showing you, it's not a part of the update. But if you didn't know, 
if you have, okay, I'm gonna hide my, my paint layer. And if you have a line art layer, right? And you have color and adjustment layers, you can select all of them and you can liquefy them all together. I can do this. I hope this, okay. <laughs> and it's affected all the layers, which is the most handiest thing I have ever come across and no other program offers this. Is. It's amazing. Anyway, I'm gonna stop blabbering on about Procreate. Uh, if you have any things that you've realized or like discovered with this update that you really, really love, please let me know because I do, I'm sure there's things that are hidden that I haven't seen that I would love, that I would love to know about. Um, so let me know if you, you have any favorite new tools in Procreate that you've been using and you think that I should check out. Um, this is a pretty quick video, I just wanted to chat with you guys and say hi. I'm sorry I haven't posted in like three weeks, um, but I have been very anxious and stressed and uh, I'm gonna try and make more videos, but we'll, we'll see how it goes and I hope you guys are okay in this interesting time. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!